Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer USDT from BitGet Exchange to BitGet Wallet. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So in order for us to make a transfer or transfer our crypto from our BitGet Exchange account to BitGet Wallet, what we need to do is we need to access a few things. So first, since we want to transfer it to our BitGet Wallet, we need to get the address of that wallet. So let's open up our BitGet Wallet here. And we want to go ahead and click on the wallet option at the bottom right of your screen. So usually it's going to redirect you to homepage here. So just click on wallet at the bottom right. Now, go ahead and click on the receive option that you see here on your screen. Now, you want to go ahead and look for USDT since we want to transfer USDT. Now, from here on, you want to go ahead and choose the network that you want to use for the transfer. So, in my case, maybe I want to start using the Solana network. Let's go ahead and click on the appropriate one. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just copy the address here. And once you've copied that, what we need to do next is we want to open up our BitCAD account. Now, in our BitGet account, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and go to Assets at the bottom right here. And in here, you want to look for USDT. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to click on the Withdraw option. Now, if you don't see the Withdraw option here, click on the tree dotted option I see at the bottom left of your screen. And from here, just choose Withdraw. Now, let's go and choose the on-chain withdrawal. And from here, you just need to go ahead and choose your network enter the withdrawal address here and the amount that you want to withdraw now let's go and choose our um, network here so since we chose the solana network we just go and choose solana let's go ahead and enter our address let's go and paste it and you want to go ahead and specify the withdrawal amount here so the minimum for this is going to be 10 usdt and by the way make sure to uh, take into account the transaction fee here which is usually around 1.5 usdt so make sure that you still have that specific amount and you also meet the minimum withdrawal amount here as well. Now, in this case, once you fill all the details here, just click on withdraw here to proceed with the transfer and you just need to wait for the transaction or the contract to complete. But in this case, that's about it. Now, it's really important that your address or the network that you are using here for the withdrawal as well as the previous wallet or both the, net the wallet here actually matches. So make sure if you're using Solana, make sure to use the Solana network. But in this case, that's it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.